Hey, hey California. California. What's up? What's I want to go surfing one day. Right. I want to go surfing that like butt. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you know. Uh -huh. It might be good. You never know. All right, you guys. Bye-bye. Yep. Yeah, I will. I'll be the perfect little me. Yeah. Ernest Johnson from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, coming to give the winds a mighty blow. Jesus saves, Jesus heals, Jesus is coming again. This is the city of brotherly love, and I'm right here under the love sign, and I'm here, amen, excited, amen, about what's going on in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Amen. I visited my overseer's house. I cried because they just tore it up and made it a drug house. It was a house of prayer, but we're going to get that house back in Jesus name and we're going to turn it back into a house of prayer where men and women can come and be ministered to and can be counseled and Jesus can be glorified once again on the corner of Conestoga and Arch. Amen. And so all of you have been attending a convention uh, about the new energy um, deregulation and I heard it's coming to California and it's coming to your state soon. You ought to get in on this. I talked to a bishop today and he's bringing in $27,000 a month just from signing customers up to transfer their energy from their present company to one of the biggest energy companies in the world. I'm going to tell you more about that. But I'm here in the name of Jesus to give God the honor, the glory, and the praise from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I am excited about what God is doing. I'm going to keep you informed. I hope you enjoyed the videos, the pictures that I've showed you thus far. And I'm having a great time in the Lord Jesus, being back home in Philadelphia. I'll see you, and I'll give you a report from California tomorrow, a full report, full video. But right now, I just want to tell the world that Jesus is the answer. <laughs> All right, why are you at this convention today? Uh, we're looking for new ways to make money, uh, mm -hmm. financial freedom, uh, getting paid what you're worth. Do you think this can offer you that? Absolutely. And how? Um, everybody pays for energy. Okay. You know, that's, that's, that's a given. So, uh, I mean, if you can pay less money and get some benefits like unemployment uh, <clears throat> uh, benefits from it, uh, cash back, it's no brainer. All right, and Bob Jill? Five hundred billion dollar opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how much do you plan to get out of that five hundred billion? At least, at least a percent of it. <laughs> how much of that percentage? It's five hundred million. <laughs> ten percent. Now, now, if you got ten percent of that, which is fifty million, what would you do with it? Man. I can't even spend it all, I'll tell you that much. Really? I couldn't spend it all. <laughs> oh, everybody's asking God to be a millionaire, but they don't know hey. what to do when they get it, right? It'd be a blessing to someone in need. There you go. All right. All go. right. 
<laughs> okay. Put it, put it in front of the book. You mean back? See, see. One of my guests registered. You registered two people in Chicago. This is one. Uh, checking in? Yeah. What's Ernest, you? it's Ernest Johnson. Okay. I don't wanna... I hadn't submitted my names. Okay, we, yeah, that's, that's okay. We, okay. we can get you taken care of, buddy. I got you, I got you. To execute on your vision. There is no vision unless we get into action. It begins with a choice. And, and I want you to think right now, I want you to think uh, of a moment um, where you've had that, that vision for your life and what's happened in your life. You probably had more loving. You probably wanted to step outside your little clique you probably got uncomfortable. You probably did some things that even scared you. So once you have a vision and you make a choice, it usually leads to more friends, more opportunity, more abundance in your life. Um, visioning is a powerful tool, and I want to show you the difference between visualization and visioning through a little video. The video uh, is a movie called Peaceful Warrior, and it's about a gymnast who's got a visual, uh, a, he's visualized his future, okay? He knows where he wants to go, and he wants to be a world-class gymnast but he hasn't ever had a vision of how to get there or what that looks like. Let's uh, take a look at the video. He meets a guy at a gas station who helps him start to develop that vision.
But now I know the meaning of true love I'm leaning on the everlasting arms If I can see it Then I can do it If I just believe it There's nothing to inside of me oh, oh, if I can see it then I can be it if I just believe it there's nothing to it I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night Spread my wings and fly away I believe I can show I see me running through that open door I believe I can fly I believe I can fly Oh, I believe I can fly 